So congrats to Nikola Jokic for winning MVP, but did he truly deserve it? Let's find out. So first things first, I mean, three MVPs in four years is wild. Truly wild. He's one behind the NBA GOAT. If he gets four in five years, he's top five all time. Okay, top 10 all time. But right now I think he's top 20. He's the top three passer of all time. He's probably the best offensive center at their prime. Like you can rebound, you can pass, and then you can score like crazy. So let me know in the car comments, what's one way you can guard him? Okay, that's what I thought. I don't think you can. But um, yeah, it's just crazy how he's getting another one. But I mean, could have Shay won it? They were the one seed. He was like the second or third leading scorer. And Giannis got fourth in voting. So I feel it was disrespectful to find him. So I think SGA could have won it, and it'd be fair. It'd be sh fair if Jokic won it, Luka won it, Shea won it, or Jalen Brunson won it, or even Giannis. Okay? But my, thing, my top three is Jokic at three, Swag at SGA, I mean, they were the one seed. The one seed. The one seed. Because of Shea. They don't have an other true star on the team. It's the same with the Knicks. And then, at one, I got Luka. Because 34 points, 10 assists, and 9 rebounds. You don't sleep on that. That is truly unbelievable. He should have won MVP. But it's fun. Congrats to the Joker. He's amazing. And he won MVP. So good job, Nikola Jokic. But Luka should have won it, then Che. Then Joker. Then Giannis. Then Jalen Brunson. Then Jason Tatum. Then Anthony Edwards. And then Donovan Mitchell. Then Steph Curry, then Kawhi Leonard. Okay, that's my top 10. Now, I'm out. Bye. Bye, bye, whatever. You get it.